it's Megan and today I am here to bring you a shameful, shamefully ginormous <laughs> Sephora and Ulta haul. Oh my god. I have a lot of stuff in front of me and I really thought I was going to not go crazy after my birthday but it actually made me go crazier. So I think after this I am putting myself on a no buy because I don't want things to get out of hand even more. So I have a bunch of stuff that I've ordered online. I have a ton of stuff from e.l.f. that I bought from their website and Ulta's website. I love trying different stuff for you guys, but also because I just love trying different makeup. And I found some really great stuff from e.l.f. that I've been really excited about. I've pretty much tried all of these things that I'm going to share with you. So it's kind of like a haul and mini reviews. So I don't have as much from Sephora and the bag is just receiving because I bought this all online but I keep some like Sephora and Ulta bags um, just for like presents and whatever so one of the first things and this actually I bought from Fenty's website but I got the Fenty skin um, sunscreen and what is this even called it's like hydro visor um, it doesn't say on the packaging the packaging is this gorgeous light um, like lavender color it is beautiful and it like actually twists up um, and the product itself is a refillable um, thing so you take this out it comes out of the packaging and then it shows you how to put it back in and then you can remove this little capsule for a refill so you only keep the outer packaging and then as you need more sunscreen you can just buy the refill which I think is really cool so you just twist it up and then I've been really really liking this so I've been looking for a new sunscreen and this one like came out right around the time that I was looking for a new sunscreen so it feels so good I've been wearing this on my um, face and my neck and chest and it gives like a slight glow to this skin but it's not like greasy or anything it just is really really beautiful and how it was designed is to not have any like color cast so every single person no matter your skin color can wear this and there won't be like any ashiness or anything it's just like clear as you blend it in and that is just amazing to me so I really love this it has a really nice scent it's like fruity almost it's just really really nice and I want to get the fat water as well but I thought I would just start with this since I was looking for a new face sunscreen and so far I really really like that so when I bought that it was only available on the Fenty Skin website but I think it will be coming to Sephora very soon. Then I picked up this which I've been curious about but my first impressions are very mixed um the summer fridays lip butter balm so i am so scared of even holding this packaging because i don't know if you can tell but it like oozes out of the packaging i literally just got this when i opened it for the very first time so much just like came out it was like exploding and i tried so hard not to like even barely like squeeze the sides like i didn't I barely even touched it. I just opened the lid and it was all like exploding. So that does not make me feel great because I already feel like some of it was wasted because so much came out and then I, I just rubbed it in with my lotion on my feet because I didn't know what to do with all this like extra stuff. Um, and I can see it's like oozing out of the packaging and that's like $22. So I'm not happy about that packaging at this moment and I saw in the reviews that the packaging is an issue but I didn't realize like how annoying it would be like right off the bat. I thought it would just be a problem like as you squeeze the tube because it's metal you might not be able to get like everything out but right now the problem is that too much is coming out. So. I'm definitely gonna use caution when I use that at night but it smells amazing it's very like vanilla-y and delicious and it felt great on my lips so maybe they just need to adjust the packaging or something but I'm very mixed in my opinion of that so far 
And then I already have shown you guys these in a few videos, but the Bobbi Brown Crush Oil Infused Lip Gloss. These are amazing. I am wearing the color in the buff right now, which is more of the peachy color. And these feel like no lip gloss I've ever felt before. And they are just so smooth and not sticky, but they like last on your lips well enough and honestly these are great under our face masks because they're not super sticky but they're very hydrating and I feel like my lips get so dry when I have to wear a face mask for an extended period of time so um in the buff is the peachy one and force of nature is more the brown color I love these and they were buy one or it was 50% uh, off on Sephora's website. So it's basically like buy one, get one free. Um, that was for like National Lipstick Day. And I'm so glad I got these because I've been wanting to try this formula for a while. And then at the time there was a coupon code for a free like deluxe size of the Lancome Juicy Tube in Marshmallow Electro. I feel like this is such a generous like free sample size. It's huge and will last forever and this color is just so cute. It's basically clear and just very shimmery when you put it on the lips and it smells so good like strawberries and I said in my vlog it just smells like the early 2000s like I don't know how to explain that but if you know you know so I love this and I'm glad that I got this as a free coupon code because I was tempted to buy a Juicy Tube but I know I'll never use it up and I couldn't decide what color and all that so this kind of worked out perfectly for me so Definitely keep your eye on Sephora's coupon codes. They go out of stock like really quickly, but if you find one that you like and you happen to be making an order, don't forget to use those promo codes. So that's everything from Sephora. Then let's go into the non-elf stuff from Ulta and then we'll do all the elf stuff at the end. So they had a deal with like gift with purchase and extra points and all this stuff on NARS and it was during my birthday month so I already got double the points so it was like double the points for my birthday month five times the points on NARS and a free gift with purchase and I was almost out of my radiant creamy concealer so I repurchased this in the shade vanilla this is like my fourth time repurchasing I love this concealer like you looking at it <laughs> won't really show you anything but I truly truly love this concealer so I wanted to pick that up to have it when I'm done with my other one and then the gift with purchase that came with it it was weird the gift with purchase that it showed was like lip products so I was excited about that but then they sent this other one so it comes with a um eyeliner and via Veneto. I'm not gonna open this because I think I'm going to pass some of these products along but that is a black eyeliner and then their Climax Mascara Sample, another thing I think I'm going to pass on. But this I think is really cool. This is the NARS Multiple in Orgasm, and I've always wanted to try one of their multiple sticks. They used to be such the rage, and it's just like a little cream stick. So let me put it on. Ooh, it's very like, that is so pretty. It was so easy to like glide on. And I'm still like working with my lighting with my new like setup so I'm trying to find like the right background and the right lighting and everything so thank you for bearing with me through the through like that change um, but this is really really pretty and these are pretty expensive so that's kind of fun to get that as a free gift with purchase so the other things I'll pass on since I already have like a bunch of stuff like that but that was cool and then this I actually got this from Belk but you can buy it like at um, Ulta they were doing a deal 25% off of all cosmetics so I got the Mac um, glow play Bl blush in grand and this is such a cool product um, I've had my eye on this for a while because I love the packaging and these are like those Maybelline blushes from a few years ago that are like kind of like bouncy and just like 
weird and cool. This is a swatch of Grand. So it's like a peachy, it's like a peachy pink, but leans a little more peach. And these are so, so pretty on the skin. They really like are kind of a dry cream. So I've been able to use it with a, a brush or a, like my fingers, you can just like tap it on. So I have really, really liked that. And then with the Belk deal, if you bought like, a certain amount of MAC, it was like very low threshold, you got a free lipstick, again for a free or National Lipstick Day, and it's in the color Marrakesh, which is a matte, and it is gorgeous, oh my goodness, this is going to be so beautiful in like the fall and winter, and I don't know, it just looks like art to me, like how perfect the bullet is, it is just gorgeous I don't want to mess it up but I want to swatch it oh my god it's like a brick red that is gorgeous I can't wait to wear that and to get a full-size MAC lipstick for free just like blew my mind so that was a really cool deal and then from Ulta I got a few random things one I'm wearing on my eyes today this is the LA girl um glitter it doesn't say the name of the product but the color is ooh la la which i love that name just a little screw top and it is this amazing glitter eyeshadow and it's what i have on my lids and this is so nice this is like way nicer than i would have expected from la girl like i don't know i don't have like very high expectations for that brand but like that is really 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 nice so that is a swatch of it and it is so metallic and reflective and just beautiful so i've been doing this kind of look with like a lot of the warm rich browns like all over all mattes and then right in the lid i'll do this glitter and it is so pretty i really had to restrain myself from buying more of these because i already have a lot of glitters but they have like a like kind of dingy green color which you guys know i love so i'm probably gonna pick that up but this is just really nice and very unexpected. And then I, oh, they were doing like, again, multiple times the points, all this stuff. And I finally picked up the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I got the super tiny one. Like this is the tiniest concealer I've ever seen in my life. Um, and this is $10, <laughs> like this little thing. But I thought I would try the small one. I can use it up and if I don't really like it, I don't have like a giant one to use. So I got the shade Fair Neutral. I think it's a little light for my preference. Um, I would probably go up if they have like a light, a fair light or something like that. Fair light neutral. I don't know. But the fair is very fair. I feel like my under eyes are just very bright. But um, yeah, I got this. So far so good. Today's my first time wearing it. But yeah, we'll just see. And I got the Maybelline lipstick in Baddest Beige, which everyone used to talk about years ago. But I just wanted to try it and it was in stock it's like always out of stock so it's like a peachy nude and it's a really nice like shiny formula it's just really easy to apply and wear and i'm not wearing it right now but it is just a really nice color and jacqueline hill made me do it so there's that and then two last non-elf products before we get into all the elf i got two more of my beloved hemp's lotions these are my favorite body lotions of all time and they were doing buy one get one free which i have never seen them do that before so i got two hemp's body lotions for the price of one so i repurchased my favorite sweet pineapple and honey lemon and or wait honey melon not honey lemon but can you see the packaging is like off centered like i don't know it's like not wrapped correctly and i can't like adjust it but anyway this smells like heaven it is so fruity and delicious oh my god 
Yep, it smells like something from my childhood that I can never put my finger on, but it just smells amazing. So I repurchased that. And then I got this new scent that just sounded so great to me, Sugared Banana and Vanilla Blossom. And this is limited edition. Um, this is so good. It has that amazing banana scent. Oh my god, like that artificial banana scent. But then it has the creaminess of the vanilla. So it's not like super banana-y. And when you just rub it in your skin, these sink in like no other lotion that I've tried, but it doesn't feel like you didn't apply lotion. It like really hydrates without being heavy. And I used this last night when I got it in the mail and this morning I applied it after I showered and it is just gorgeous. It's not too strong, but it smells so good. And I love that these come with pumps just the best so i'm really glad i got two more of those because they are my favorite lotion and then everything else is elf oh my goodness i went crazy they have a really great reward system on their website and i will just put my referral link below it's probably like you get a discount and i get a discount if you use it but it's just a really great system because you can earn points really quickly and get like $10 off your order. It's insane. And they also have a lot of free gifts and purchase, all that stuff. So there's been some things I wanted to try for a while and so I just decided to do it. And I got the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, this is more of the shade that I need. Like you can see the Tarte Shape Tape that I got is so light compared to this. So. The color I got in the e.l.f. is Fair Beige, and this is perfect under my eyes. This has a huge doe foot applicator, and I think this is supposed to be com comparable to, well, the original camo concealer is supposed to be comparable to Tarte Shape Tape, and then this is the hydrating version of the e.l.f. So I really, really like this. It's super nice under the eyes, and so far, so good. I've been wearing it pretty much all week, and I love it. Then I got their super hyped up e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. <laughs> Try to say that five times fast. And you know what? I realized why I bought this stuff. I was watching a webinar for work and the like one of the speakers was a marketing person from e.l.f. And she was talking about all the different things they've done to really promote their products and educate consumers on what does e.l.f. mean? Like who is e.l.f. for? And this poreless putty primer is apparently the number one primer in america like i have no idea where they come up with these statistics but i was just like okay i have to try that so this is also a dupe for the um tatcha silk canvas primer that comes in a little container like this and this is really really nice it's so like creamy and I know I've tried the Tatcha before, but I don't remember feeling like that impressed by it. But this is like a very creamy consistency. Definitely start with a very little amount and like just work it into like your T-zone or wherever you have more like a pore issues. And it's just really, really nice. So, so far so good with that. And then I also wanted to try their Jelly Pop Dew Primer. Um, this is like a gripping primer. And I didn't realize that when I purchased it. I just thought it was so cool and I love that it has a pump on it. It's a squeezy bottle with a pump. That's like my favorite packaging. Um, and it smells like watermelons. It's so nice. Unfortunately, I don't really love gripping primers and this one makes me feel like it makes my face more dry so which is what a lot of gripping primers like make me feel like so i don't know if i'm going to keep using this very much but i like it and i like the scent but i think the poreless putty primer is more my speed then i tried two of their little bite size products and these are two of my favorite things that i purchased so the eyeshadow palette is just gorgeous it's in the colorway truffles and it has one metallic and then um two mattes and one sequin formula so this like 
Toby mushroom gray color is the metallic. These two in the middle are matte and then the black is like a sequin with little shimmers in it. These do not feel like cheap eyeshadows. This palette is only $3 and it performs so well. Like no matter what the price was, that is impressive. And especially the like metallic taupe that is like my ultimate favorite eyeshadow color. I just love it. And then the browns are really, really nice. I don't use a lot of black eyeshadow, so I don't know how much use I'll get out of that one. But even just for like the first three colors, it's totally worth it. And I love that you can see through the packaging. So if you had like multiple ones, you could see like what the colors are. And I just love it. So that was a really good purchase. And then the Bite Size Face Duo in Watermelon. So they have a bunch of these little face duos with a highlighter or a more luminous cheek product and then a matte. So this is, I'm glad I picked this color. Um, there were so many different colors to choose from and I wasn't sure what to get, but this one worked out really well for me. So that is the blush and that is like the highlighting product or the highlighting blush. I seriously can't believe these are $3 products from e.l.f. So I would recommend trying them if you've been curious. And then this I just couldn't pass up. It's the e.l.f. A like liquid glitter shadow in purple rain. And this is so pretty and like exactly like the Stila glitter and glows, but I don't have a color like this. So it's like just a really pretty purple color with silver silver sparkles there's some holographic sparkles in there as well just really pretty and i really like that that was five dollars i didn't really need it but i just really liked it and then i got this lip duo this is one of my favorite purchases it's a set that comes with a liquid matte lipstick and the prismatic lip gloss two full sizes the liquid lipstick is in the color praline and this is so pretty like this is the perfect liquid lipstick color to me like that's the kind of color i wear all fall and winter and then the prismatic lip gloss is in the color rose quartz i hope you can see the dimension in this lip gloss it is just beautiful it is so stunning and i don't know if a swatch will really yeah it won't like show you anything but it is so so pretty on the lips and it just makes your lips look so glossy and juicy and beautiful so really impressed with that i got this as a free gift with purchase and i do not like this this is going in the trash this is the like aqua lip stain or something in dewy berry this is horrible it like clumps up on your lips and yeah it leaves a little bit of a stain but it is not in a good way um i do not like that at all so that is going in the trash glad that was a free gift and then i got the elf wow brow in brunette so this is supposed to be like the glossier boy brow or the um gimme brow from benefit and i was just curious about it and it's really nice it has some fibers in it so if you need more volume to your eyebrows that could be a nice thing um and the color is nice it's more of a warm brown so keep that in mind if you're picking a color online and yeah so far i really like that and the last two things were free gifts um the elf say bye to dry hand cream is one and then all of the orders on the elf website come with a free hand sanitizer i can't get enough hand sanitizer so i'm very glad that that was included and yeah so that is pretty much it sorry if my hair was like flying all over the place i'm sure you can hear my fan but I just need it because it gets so hot as I'm filming, but yeah, I hope you didn't mind. Um, and I hope you guys liked this haul. It was a big one, com like especially since I just filmed another haul last month. So I hope this is my last haul for a while. I really need to rein it in, but I think a lot of us are kind of buying a lot of makeup lately, trying to make ourselves feel a little better during quarantine, but yeah. I just need to 
keep it under control, you know? So I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so, so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.